Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media and welcome to episode 2 of the NCS Guessing Game. I'm again joined by BL Craftier who has graciously put all these tracks together for me because I again and the contestant, I'm back for, I guess I'm the first time, two, first two time contestant. Testant, I guess, technically, I guess, oh, I don't know if you count yeah. all season two of the Monster I guess, game where I did it myself, but whatever, that's not the point. Uh, but for those of you that weren't watching last episode, you should go back and watch last episode. It was fantastic. I, uh, I had an ego check for sure. I thought I was going to get perfect or one less than perfect, and I got, I believe, eight out of 15. So, yikes. Um, but for those of you that did not watch the first one, the way this works is I'm going to hear, and BLCraft has selected uh, 15 NCS songs that have been voted on uh, in a series of uh, Discord votes of the most loved and most hated tracks on NCS. And uh, I've got 30 seconds to guess um, uh, if they are loved or hated. And that's how it works. Simple as that. So, without any further ado, uh, you want to just hop into number one? Yep. Let's Good go job. for it. Here we go. Track number one. Okay. Okay, I know what this. Wait, I don't. Uh, we're not. We're gonna. I'm. I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it. I know this is hated. This is absolutely hated. Yeah, it is. Great. It's okay. Kind of give me one. Yeah. Thanks for the confidence. I really needed the confidence boost after that. So thank you for picking this one. That was great. So uh, what is this track? Uh, it is Salvation by Main Reactor. There is a lot of loved Hardstyle in NCS, actually. This one just hmm. is on the other end. Yeah, that's fair. And and Hardstyle, I think, is one that's harder for a majority of people to get into. So even though, um, again, a big caveat is even though a bunch of people say this is either loved or hated, it doesn't make it actually like a love because music is fairly subjective. Like there were a bunch of tracks last episode that I enjoyed, that I thought I liked, but uh, they were overall uh, not loved. Um, so... Thank you for the gimme, hopefully, uh, and I hope we're all at one-on-one -on -one if you're playing along at home. Uh, okay, here we go, track number two. Okay, another one that I feel like right off the bat feels loved. It, it feels a little bit more dynamic. Um, I don't know. It just feels like it's got something really going for it here. And again, I didn't. I don't know the full snippet. I don't know the full context of everything of the artists and their discography and the rest of the track even. But uh, I'm gonna say this is uh, a loved one. Sorry, that's incorrect. Wow. Loved. Wow. Mm. Okay, what is this track? Uh. It's Freeless Part 2 by Lost Guy, featuring Chris Linton. Wow, there are a lot of Part 2s and 3s and stuff yeah. on NCS. I feel like that's part of why it's hated. Just the fact that it's... This is the same as, like, the previous song, except with vocals. That's the only difference. Yeah. It's the same as, like, the gym one. Yeah, and that's tough. It, it's it's clever putting these in, I will say. I'll give you a, a clever for that. But it is, it's tough to know without the context of, of what it is, yeah. which is what I also did to the other people that I had <laughs> this game doing. So, yeah. dang. Also, the Part 1... Like the original one isn't really loved either. I don't That's know fair. if it's this low, but yeah, yeah, yeah it, that it's a common thing I think where that like if the original is like like mid, and then there's a part two or something that's very similar that's not as great as the original. People will like put it on an even lower pedestal than what it would be if it was just by itself. So yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay. Oh man, no, it's still not starting off good. Uh, one for two. Here we go. Here's track number three. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is I'm gonna purely go off of a me thing here. 
uh, and not try to, I tried to go too meta last time. Uh, I felt like the mixing was not great on that track. Um, and I didn't love the vocals particularly and the beats felt fairly basic. So based off of all three of those things, like if any one of those was a little better in my eyes, I would, I would say this is maybe a more like track, but, uh, I'm going to say this is, this is hated. It's actually very loved. Are it's like you kidding me? How? What? This one's, this one's harder to explain, to be honest. I, I'm not sure how it ended up this high. That's true of a lot of these, though. It's, That's is there like more context yeah. to this? I need to know, like, what is this track? So it's this is Young Ones by Johnny Third featuring Jeremy Fowler. I mean, I think context-wise, there isn't much else I could say other than the fact that it has like different drops. Those ones aren't like super different, though. Otherwise, I guess it's old. SES house maybe that's just something people love a lot yeah i don't know that one oh man that that felt like it did not live up. what was this an older song like because this is yeah 2014 okay yeah that felt like it did not hold up today's standards for me personally so i don't know but again maybe in context there's songs like that on monster cat that if i would have gone back and listened to i would have been like back then i loved it so man i am i'm really struggling one for three here we go track number four Okay, every time I try to get into the mind of the NCS community and the general people here, I feel like I'm led astray in a wayward sense. So part of me wants to go against what I'm thinking here because I feel like, yeah, but I shouldn't go against. I should go with my gut still. My gut's been so bad. Uh, I think it's hated. Yeah, it is hated. Okay, um, good. I think it's mostly the vocal chops. It used to be one of my favorites, actually. But like, <laughs> yeah, I kind of tumbled from there. And uh, what is this track? Uh, it is Identity by Glued. Okay. Okay. Okay, moving along. I am two for four now. So let's see if I can do better. I am. I need to beat eight. I want to get 10. I want to, like, optimally I'd love to get 11. But um, now it's just a wish. It's not a, I think I can. <laughs> uh, here we go. Track number five. Okay, I'm I'm feeling like this is pretty based off of again the other one earlier, the house kind of one. This feels like a great track to me, so I'm just gonna say this one is loved. And you're right, it is loved. Great, thanks. And it is from one of the most loved producers on NCS, I would say it's uh, "Our Lives Paths" by Phantom Sage. Okay, and, uh, featuring Emily Styles. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm feeling more. Co- I feel like I feel like I'm building up the confidence. And I'm afraid it's going to shatter. I'm going to get like one so wrong. Um, So I believe I'm three for five. Uh, Here we go. Track number six. Oh, there's the NCS sound. Okay, so this is going to be tough, uh, only because last episode, there was that, what I would consider to be the classic NCS sound, the commercial synth with really high, or commercial house with a high synth melody, and I said it was loved, and it was hated, and so I don't want to make a general assumption that all of that kind of NCS sound, or classic NCS sound, is hated, but I'm going to have to go with the logic that follows from me here. I'm going to say this is hated. It is hated, yeah. Okay. Uh, sound logic mm-hmm. That's it. Uh, it's, what is this track this is new beginning by sk hall and ludwig but it's just a ripoff of alan walker basically I think yeah that's what, that's what it, it sounds like to me so yeah okay 
Okay, my confidence still rising. So we'll see, I th believe I'm four for six now. Okay, let's head into track number seven. Okay, so this is an interesting one. Uh, the drop to me doesn't feel super interesting, but again, I'm gonna go based off of trends, which is why maybe this is interesting for to be a two-timer doing these. Um, there was another song to me earlier that didn't feel too interesting, but uh, you said it was loved a lot for the vocals. And the vocals, the little bit that I heard in the very end there, I, I actually really liked. So I'm gonna say this is loved. Yeah, you're right. Yes. That, that was spot on reasoning, to be honest. Like, there's not much variation there, but like, yeah, the vocals, are beautiful. Okay. Well, and what was that? What was this song? Uh, this is Hollow Life by Triton featuring Ratfoot. Okay. Okay. Oh, my confidence going more, but let's see if we can continue this. So I believe I'm five or seven. Let's go. Uh, here we go. Track number eight of 15. Okay. Okay, that one's fascinating. Uh, the first part was very 8-bit. It felt like very like, uh, I don't know, your classic 8-bit sound, like a like a Nitro Fun. And then it got into something a little more intense. I would, you know, honestly, if I were to name the song, I would say this is something to do with a virus. So if this is some name revolves around a virus, I would, I'll be me me mega impressed with it. Who knows? Um, I'm going to say it is hated. You're right, it is. Yes! And what's the name of it? Uh, it's By Your Side by God's Warrior. Okay, yeah. I, wasn't I think it just has to do with the vocals, yeah. Okay, yeah, that one uh, That one I felt like I was a little more, wow, uh, a little more on, I knew a little bit better that one, but we'll see. Um, okay, so I am uh, six for eight now, six for eight. I'm sneaking up on my old record here, so let's go. Uh, track number nine. Tuffy. Okay, another fascinating, fascinating one to me. To me, the mixing felt a little flat on that. It felt like it was a little too uh jumbled up but again using my sound logic that has worked great this episode i thought a mixing was bad on the other song and it ended up being a love song based off that alone sort of uh, just my my brain is different um i'm gonna say that is a loved song yeah it is a long so love yes. song yes okay well, what was this track uh, it's Spirit of Things by Floating Your Boat. Uh, it, I'm surprised how many of these artists that you said that I've never actually heard. Um, like, I've I've been consciously, like, aware of NCS for a long time, and I've, like, listened to, obviously, a, a, a few of their tracks, and uh, obviously, as a label as a whole, they've got a ton of artists, but I'm surprised there's no other names have been like, oh, yes, I know this one, or I know this one, or I know this one, but okay. Well, there'll definitely be more of those in another episode we're doing. But Yes, true. Another, uh, another yeah. little sneak peek. I like it. Uh, okay, uh, I am seven for nine. I am doing it so far. Let's see. Uh, track number 10. Here we go. No, too strong. This is NCS?
Wow, okay, that one had a ton of energy to it. And I feel like it wasn't, it was a little bit more for for that kind of style of, I don't know if it's drum step or drum and bass or whatever, but um, that it felt more palatable for that. It wasn't quite as intense as like a, a Reaper would be on like Monster Cat or like a really, I don't know, more a darker atmosphere, like a Noisia, I think maybe. But uh, that one felt a little bit more, yeah, I think palatable is the best way to put it. So I'm going to say this one uh, is loved. Yeah, it is loved. Yes! You're popping off. I am! And what is this one? Uh, this is Mirage by Focus Fire. Okay, yeah. Another name I haven't heard, but this is, uh, that sounded great to me. So I, my logic is now I feel like I need to bring back the other contestants from the Monster Cat one and do that again with them because of their reasoning before and have them watch the video again. Because this is, this is fascinating. Um, re- like doing it a second time really does feel, I think, helpful in doing it. So, yeah. huh. Huh. Okay. Eight for 10. Uh, I, my goal is at least 11. So I need uh, a couple more. So here we go. Uh, this is track number 11. Okay. This is your kind of more basic commercial house, I would say. Okay, again here, trying to use my sound logic and just the, that feeling of like kind of a basic commercial house and what you've said in the past, I'm going to say this is, oh no, in my head though, I was going to say hate it off the bat, but then I realized there was another one that I thought was more basic that was really loved. I'm going to still go with my gut and say this is hated. It's actually loved. Ah, okay. Yeah. I, ah. <laughs> okay, what place. is this one? This is Return to the Wild by Tobu. Oh, okay. I know Tobu. I know Tobu. Yeah. See, see, that's another one where like, if I would have heard the artist beforehand, like, let's just say hypothetically, you give me the artist or whatever, I could genuinely guess. I, Tobu is one of the few I've listened to. Okay. So yeah. Okay. I should have something about that. That last in my head, he went, Oh, wait a second. No, wait. So, uh, yeah, I, sh- I should have gone with my not gut there. Uh, okay. I believe I am eight for 11 now. Here we go. Track number 12. Okay, I'm not sure if there's some Legend of Zelda uh, sample in there that I can't remember what I, what I heard, but um, some other video game, I think. Uh, I feel like this is a little annoying, uh, this track personally, so I'm going to say this is hated. Yeah, it is hated. It is okay. pretty annoying, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got annoyed, and I was only listening to 30 seconds, so. Mm-hmm. And what is this track? Uh, this is Safari Fruits by Vidya Vidya. Okay, I want to go back down and try to remember. Do you know what that sample is from? Like, do you, do you hear the same thing I did, or am I crazy? This track has like a lot of like video game samples. I think okay. there's some like from Mario or like Sonic, whatever. Okay. Random yeah. ones. Okay. Uh, okay, I am nine for twelve, I believe. So let's hop into track number thirteen. Yeah, okay, so this is an interesting one. Um, I'm going to do a meta guess here, or a guess. Based off what you said before, there's lots of part twos. My guess is there is an original song to this that is, like, okay or, or loved. And this is a remix or a part two or a part three that is also loved because it went a lot more different. It was originally Commercial House. This is me going crazy. And if I get this all right, I'd be shocked. It's probably all wrong. But that's what it sounds like to me based off what we've heard before. So I'm going to say this is loved. You're right. Okay. Uh, it is love. But there is... Okay, there's a lot to talk about here. So... <laughs> okay. So you you didn't recognize this song, did you? I didn't, no. Okay, that's honestly shocking. This is like... 
this was everywhere. Like you can go really? to like probably like thousands of YouTube videos or whatever that use this. Interesting. This is like, so, so um, what is the name of the song? This is Invincible by Def Kev. I've never you even heard, heard that, that title before or artist. Wow, that, that's really surprising. Uh, but yeah, huh. so you thought this was like a part two, of like uh, yeah, yeah, the original song. Actually, this is the original, but um, okay. this came out in 2015, and then he just like kind of disappeared for like I don't know five or six years or so, hmm. and then um, two years ago he re-released on NCS with a part two of this. So okay, he actually kind of reversed it. Interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, so I believe now at this point I am ten for thirteen. I believe so. So I just need one more to beat the percentage record of everyone else that's done the multi guessing game because it was eight for 12 was the highest record. So 67%. I think that's how the math works. So, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, this is track number 14. Yo, this is Tokyo, like 100%. Okay, yo, this is 100% Tokyo. This is like Tokyo NCS. This is like what Tokyo Machine would produce on NCS or like a, an artist that's like sort of, I don't know, copying Tokyo Machine. It sounds so much like it. So I'm going to say this is loved. Uh, it is hated. What? Yeah. Why? Uh, it slaps pretty hard, but uh, the name of the song is Memes. It's by Niviro. It makes, like, a lot of, it makes a lot of house that's like this. I think it has to do a lot with the vocal chops. You don't hear much of the like, build-up. It says memes, right? But it gets really annoying throughout the whole song. Like, how it's just focused on memes, I guess. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. Like, that section I heard, I, I really enjoyed, so... Wow. Okay, well, I've got one shot to beat everyone else. Uh, I am 10 for 14. Here we go. For it all. Track number 15. Oh, this is tough for me. This is another one that I really think could go either way based off of the rest of the track and the, the I don't know, the, the surrounding, I guess, culture of the track or, or what the context is. Context is what I'm looking for. That's really one I feel like could go either way. Oh, shoot. Uh, it felt like... Oh, no. I really want to get this right. Oh, I'm going to say... My head's leaning towards loved. So I'm going to say it's loved. It is loved. Yes! And... <laughs> nice. Uh, what is but this track? Right. Um, this is Loon by Y and V. Um, okay. They're actually the number one artists on the boat. Wow. Based off, like rating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're right. This requires like a lot of context because this is seven minutes long. Okay. Yeah, yeah see? Yeah, so, it's just like a it's one of those journey tracks. It's like when you played Infinite on like one of your episodes. Yes. Yeah. That one's yes. pretty hard to like guess based on just like, 30 seconds. Hundred percent. Okay. Eleven for fifteen, I believe. And so I have officially become the highest <laughs> contestant, the best scoring contestant on the show, which is uh I hope I, I would have hoped I would have. I didn't think it was going to be this close, but um, thank you. Thank you, BL Craft, for being a part of these. I really appreciate you uh, setting this all up and, and hosting this. And um, there will be more to come uh, with a little bit of a switch up at some point. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now, I'm Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.